On today's Tuesday Talk, we are answering a question from a viewer. They asked if we could pick up our Airstream and plop it down anywhere in the world, where would we go? What's on our RV wish list, bucket list? Um, how about Iceland? Iceland? Yeah, how about Iceland? How about, I don't know, Alaska? Alaska would be awesome because Steve really doesn't want to make the drive up there. It's so not if happening. we could pick up the Airstream and drop it in Alaska and yeah, just RV around cool. Alaska, we would totally do that. Um, I would say Europe because there's a lot of cool RVing in Europe and the Airstream would be fine. We probably might be need a different truck. Airstream might be big over there though. Long, but not too wide, which is nice. Um, but no, Europe has some amazing RVing and caravanning. New Zealand is awesome. We've seen people do that. We've seen people do Australia. Okay, so pretty much almost anywhere <laughs> that has campgrounds that, and boondocking that we could go to with the RV <laughs> is the answer to this question. Yeah, I can't think of many places that would be off limits. Yeah, exactly. The, the biggest thing would be could we take our RV and be on the roads and is it safe and that's about it. Um, Many of you know, because we've said this in the past, but eventually the plan is that we will actually start doing international travel without the Airstream. Um, once we no longer have our puppies, which we're talking years down the road, since we don't have to be any specific place, we figure we'll go spend months at a time in different countries. And while we will not be RVing, um, we will be seeing everything we want to see. And so that's why our wish lists are quite large. Because <laughs> we want to go everywhere. It's pretty much the answer. Yeah, might as well. And anywhere we could take the RV, if we was magically able to do that, we probably would. So, because why not take your home with you? Anyway. Oh, well, if only we can pick it up and plop it down somewhere. I know, exactly. It would be so nice. That if one of you knows how to do that, besides just spending a lot of money, let us know. <laughs> um, anyway, hopefully that answered your question. We'd love to hear in the comments below what's your number one bucket list item place for your RV would be. Meanwhile, there's an RV going past us. Because <laughs> um, I would like to know what yours are, and maybe you know more, actually, I'm sure you know more than we do, and you might add on to our list as well. If you have a question for a future Tuesday talk, also leave that in the comments below, because we're always looking for new ideas. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.